this video we will see how to get electric field intensity due to volume charge. So consider a sphere of radius A which is at the origin and the volume charge density is rho V. So which, which is the total charge to unit volume? So rho V is equal to Q divided by volume. So consider a small volume dV as shown in figure this and there be a point P 0 0 Z where the electric field intensity is to be calculated. And R is the vector down from dq this vector here r is the vector down from the dq to point p and this differential charge here dq produces a differential electric field de which value is de equal to dq divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square unit vector a r here a r is the unit vector in direction of this r so now d e is equal to rho v d v divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square unit vector a r because d q is equal to rho v d v. So this is the differential electric field due to this charge differential charge d q. So due to symmetry of charge distribution the contribution due to e x and e y r add up to 0. So while only e z component is left. So here Ez is equal to E dot unit vector Az integration dE cos alpha rho v 4 pi epsilon naught integration dv cos alpha divided by r square where dv is equal to r dash square tr dash sin theta dash d theta dash d phi dash this is the differential volume in case of cylindrical coordinates which we have already shown in our starting lectures of this course. Now evaluate the integral of this equation and just we need the value of r square and cos alpha. So applying the cosine rule, you just apply the cosine rule in this figure. So you will get r square is equal to z square plus r dash square minus 2 z r dash cos theta dash r dash square is equal to z square plus r square minus 2 z R cos alpha. So cos theta dash will be equal to z square plus r square r dash square minus r square 
डिवाइडेड बाय टू जेड आर डैश एंड कोस अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जस्ट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम हियर कोस अल्फा विल बी इक्वल टू जेड स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर माइनस आर डैश स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू जेड आर now differentiating this equation with respect to theta dash and keep z and r dash fix so you will get sin theta dash d theta dash is equal to r dr divided by z r dash so when p is outside the sphere r varies r varies from z minus r dash to z plus r dash and theta dash varies from 0 to 5 so ez will be equal to rho v divided by 4 pi epsilon not volume integral r dash square dr dash sin theta dash d phi dash cos alpha divided by which is divided by r square so substituting the value of sin theta dash d theta dash and cos alpha in above equation you will get ez is equal to rho v divided by 4 pi epsilon not integration r dash equal to 0 to a and integration r is equal to z minus r dash to z plus r dash integration phi dash equal to 0 to 2 pi so 1 over r square dot r dash square dr dash r dr divided by z r dash d phi dash in bracket z square plus r square minus r dash square divided by Two J R. So simplifying this expression, rho v four pi epsilon naught limit R dash zero to A limit R equal to J minus R dash. to z plus r dash z square plus r square minus r dash square divided by r square dr dash dr divided by 2z square Zero to pi d phi dash. 
which will come rho v into 2 pi divided by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 z square 0 to a z minus r dash to z plus r dash in bracket 1 plus z square plus r dash square divided by capital R square dr dash dr rho v this will be cancelled out so rho v pi divided by 4 pi epsilon naught z square 0 to a 4 this term you need to correct this after putting the integration value So this value here R dash R dash R minus Z square minus R dash square divided by capital R limit Z minus R dash to z plus r dash dr dash so rho v pi divided by 4 pi epsilon naught z square 0 to a rho v pi and it is 4 r dash square dr dash is equal to rho v pi divided by 4 pi epsilon naught z square 4 a q by 3 so after solving this expression you will get e equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught z square unit vector a z. So this is the expression of the electric field.